Hi guys, it's me again, John Stevens, and I'm going to do a video episode today on my blog to follow up on a prior blog that I had, Love is in the Air Spawn Fishing. I'm going to show you two videos with results of two northern pike I recently obtained from an inland flood control reservoir in western Pennsylvania. In keeping with my philosophy of spawn fishing as a form of scouting, this was a flood control reservoir that I had never previously fished. In the process of fishing it, I had used the strategy of going on to shallow water flats in 48 degree water. Pike typically spawn for my investigations between 40 to 45 degree water. This was a little bit late, but thankfully we had some snow and ice and 20 degree nights for a week and a half in a row. Really, it was bad here in early May 2020. That made it uh, good when we were finally able to be cleared for coronavirus and fish. So I'm going to share these videos with you and afterwards I'm going to discuss how spawn fishing can be a good way to locate a new target species um, in a new waterway for you that you're just investigating and scouting. Bear in mind, pike spawn at a smaller size than musky. So pike start spawning around the mid 20 inch range as musky are more the mid 30 inch range. And also bear in mind when you're dealing with apex predators, you'll get a mud flat where you aren't going to have like a hundred bass like you'd have bass spawning or a hundred panfish like you have panfish spawning. Pike are apex predators so you will have maybe a dozen on a flat and you got to work your way through to see if they'll hit. And by the way I saw a lot more fish than the three I hooked and the two I landed. They just were distracted spawning. With that said here are the videos. Yeah yeah that's fine. All right that's fine. Okay first blood for the season. Got a northern, got out today. We're gonna to get them measured here once the rods are in. Doesn't look like anything that I consider to be a monster norther, but he isn't a bad one either. But any event, first blood in the season, mark and bait on a shallow flat. And this is what I talk about when I talk about spawn fishing. Uh, love is in the air. Cause this bad boy here is looking for a lady friend, a little male. And uh, you know, little males are looking for lady friends. We've all been there, right guys? And uh, we're just going to get this guy in. There you go. Little one. Okay. Let me measure you. Let me measure you. Okay, so we'll pull the net out. Okay. No, hey, hey, hey. You're saying 31. Yeah, you aren't bad off. Okay, so then. Sit around, little guy. I know you aren't big. Here you are. Your head's there. Okay, your head is at zero. Your body goes to 29. It's a little 29 incher. Can you hold the phone for me? You can take a picture of me. Just hold it. There, just get it. Me in the camera. Just hold it. Just hold it out that way. You'll see me on the screen when I'm there. There it is, little 29 inch northern. First of the year, nothing great, but hey, he's there. I'm gonna put him back in. And he already went off. He jumped right out of my hands. He's already down there. All That's right. good. Skunk out of the box, my man. Let me get your right. Here, let me get my thing. All right, we got another one here today. Second pike of the day, not quite as impressive. Is a little one, okay, but it's got markings of being a female, which, you know, I'll take care of her in a second here. I want to make sure I uh, get her unhooked with the Lord. Hey, Okay. And I'll get 
the lure out of the water later. Uh, the lure can stay in the net. She's all right. Let her trickle down. I know she's not more than 30. She's a little girl, but she's a girl. Girls are coming to the party with strong. Always good to see the ladies at the party too, right? There she is. We'll get a. Uh, Measure at 28. Just touch the tab at 28. I'll take it out and show you. If she's uh, tabbing at 28, here we'll get this thing. Okay. Clean off the lens. <laughs> she's tabbing. There is 28, and we'll follow her body the whole way down to the head. Well, but I want to show the one side if I can flip her over. Oh, come on, girl. Hold on. You can see these little marks like that and like that where there's biting marks on her. That's not a bigger fish hitting it. That's a sign we got a little hen. Oh, hey. Yeah, she's an old girl, too. She's got some sash to her. But you can see those bite marks are signs of uh, males coming up, too caresser which is something that doesn't you know often get seen all the time and that's cool it's a sign the spawning is going on it's sort of like a form of fish foreplay from what I've researched okay I'm gonna turn this off and let her go uh-huh So you can see that I was very close to shore when I caught that second pike, as I was with the first pike, although the angle didn't <clears throat> permit you to see that. They come right up next to shore on shallow mud flats, and you will literally sight see them, especially if the water's clear enough as it was in that day in that particular reservoir. Um, it's a little cloudy. wasn't too bad. You could still see the profiles of the shadow of them moving below a foot or two below the surface, and you could see the profile of the pike there. Uh, all in all, I learned a lot about this waterway. I learned that A, it does have northern pike. Didn't know that before I showed up there. B, I learned that the northern pike are of decent size. I wouldn't call them monsters. 28, 29 inches um, above average for my state. Certainly aren't hammer handles. Certainly aren't runs. Just not anything great. The third one we dropped was probably low 30s, low 30 inch range, maybe 32 or so. Nothing really outstanding. So that was a pretty good representative size of the fish population that is in that lake. It's a lake that I'll now put on my uh, milk run of lakes I go to and that I previously wouldn't have even considered. It shows the value and the power of spawn fishing as a way of identifying new waterways where you can have success with apex predatory fish. And when I say an apex predatory fish, I mean top of the food chain. There are fewer of them to begin with, so be patient. If you go to a mud flat and you don't immediately see pike there, it might be a little cold. It might be that's not the one to hit. Keep hitting several mud flats. One will have fish there. And of course, they'll move back out to deeper water once the spawn ends. So in your upcoming weeks here, approaching Memorial Day weekend, I never thought I would say this. The pike spawn may still be going on in Pennsylvania because it's been so damn cold. I mean, they may or they may be post-spawn. Um, in any event... This was mid-May pike fishing in Spawn in Pennsylvania, western Pennsylvania. Something I never thought I'd ever say. But with as cold as it was for those two weeks of like 20 degree nights, it really kept it going. Uh, when you're thinking about planning your trip, if you're going to do something like this, please look at Love is in the Air Spawn Fishing, a post I've already made. Also, researching your target species and waterway is a good reference guide because it can give you an idea of what type of bait to use. If you research the forage base of the lake that you're fishing before you fish it, it's sort of like researching a fly hatch for trout before you go fly fishing. All good trout fishermen know that if you have a fly that looks like the hatch that is going on, you're going to get bit. And you're going to get bit a lot. And that's what I did with this particular lake. I researched my target species and waterway. I found a particular color I had not been using. And it worked real well on this lake to get three hits in four hours. I only fished four hours at three hits. Saw plenty of more fish spawning. But again, when they're distracted spawning... I'm not their priority. Feeding isn't their priority. Getting lucky is their priority. 
So this is John Stevens. I hope you enjoyed this post. Let me know what you think. Like it if you like it. Don't like, dislike it. Put a thumbs down. And hey, subscribe if you want to because I'm going to keep this going. Take care and good luck on the water.